why don't you just go ahead and tell us what happened? All right, I guess he decided to clear his conscience or something, but, you know, he told me what he was in prison for, that he had, you know, was accused of raping a, an 11-year-old girl, and he got 25 to life for it, and, you know, I told him that's enough, I don't want to hear any more. Um, I first, you know, punched him a couple times. Still wouldn't shut up. Still kept telling me he wanted to explain that he didn't do it that he was being set up and all this stuff and I don't know I just got mad and then hit him and and then I killed him when I not I hit him and knocked him out and then I took the shoelaces out of his shoes tied them together wrapped it around his neck and strangled him then um, after I was done I mean I was I was aware of what I was doing you know and then I just put him on his bed and covered him up and climbed in my bed and went to sleep I noticed, you know, we obviously we've been in, in your cell. Mm -hmm. That it appears that all of your belongings, you packed, packed up. up. Yeah. Okay. W when did you do that? Mm, right after I knew he was dead. Right after you knew. So. And the reason for doing that would be. Because when you go to the hole, that's usually what the police do to pack it up, and I figure, yeah, they're going to tear my shit up. So. Okay. Let me just do it myself. So. Yes. so what happened to the shoelaces? Lost them down the toilet. Okay. Now those laces came out of Ted's shoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then when you were done, you flushed it down the toilet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? Because I'm an idiot. I don't know. Just I mean, you know, obviously I don't think right. I'm a, in prison for most of my life, so my thinking isn't really rational. <coughs> I don't know. I just kind of thought that that was the appropriate thing to do at that time. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I don't know. I just you know, I know murdering somebody's not a good thing but I mean Jesus man if, yeah. if the things this guy did he things he said he did yeah. I wouldn't want someone like that on the street again so I, I do what's necessary I do what some people won't I mean you guys are cops you arrest people all the time for stuff that you wish you could shoot them in the face I already know that I'm not stupid <laughs> you know I mean I understand. there's there's crimes that shouldn't be committed so you know, I just have, I don't know, I just don't have any empathy for okay. people, so. So, so basically, what you did, you, you figure Ted got what he deserved. Ted got what he deserved. I believe that with all my heart. Okay. Look, you know, I hit him a couple of times and I pulled the chair back and sat in the chair and then um, he kind of got up posturing on me. You know, that's kind of like means, you know, he got up like, you know, so I was like, okay, you know, and then I caught him again. And when he went down, I was like, yeah, sucks to be you. I just don't think stabbing or shooting somebody is a little too impersonal. If you're going to kill somebody, you might as well be personal about it, right? You think that's more personal? Yeah, I just, you know, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but if you have to go to that extent, yeah. I want it to be personal. I don't, I don't like violence, but if I have to go to that extent, then I want it to be personal. 